Hey, Ben here, and it has been a while since I've uploaded anything to this channel, and what I have for you today isn't a short film or an animated project or even an update on where this channel is going. That might come later. What I have for you today is some music news, and it's film-related music news, and it is some James Bond-related film music news. So it's something I'm excited to wade into and uh, talk about with you uh, today. One of the best-known parts of the Bond film formula is the music. And the list of artists who have performed a Bond theme reads like a who's who of the film uh, and music industries. And of course, not all proposed tracks that are proposed and recorded end up making the cut and the final cut of the film. But most of those end up being released in some form or fashion, and they are either reworked into something different, and most of the time fans end up getting to hear at least a snippet of what those themes might have sounded like. But like with anything, there's lost media that doesn't get to see the light of day. The, probably the best known of those lost James Bond themes is Eric Clapton's uh, proposed theme for 1989's License to Kill. In February of 1989, composer Michael Kamen brought in his friend Clapton to complete a bluesy instrumental version of the Norman Barry Bond theme for use as the main title track for License to Kill. They brought legendary session guitarist Vic Flick in to assist as well, and they created a track that Kamen seemed pretty confident in, confident enough to shoot a performance music video for. Unfortunately for the group of musicians, Eon Productions ended up wanting to go with a more traditional song-based opening, and Gladys Knight was brought in to replace Clapton's instrumental piece. Clapton's contribution was never released. Uh, the music video, uh, rumored to be locked in the Eon Productions archives. Uh, Vic Flick in a recent interview said, that's the big James Bond question. What happened to the recording made by Eric, Michael Kamen, and me? Nobody really knows. The last person thought to have it was Michael Kamen, but as he has since passed away, the tape has turned into the holy grail of Bond aficionados. About a month or so ago at the time of this recording, an individual uploaded the track to SoundCloud that purported to be the long-lost Eric Clapton Bond theme. It didn't garner much publicity until a few days ago, um, when discussion about it started on various Bond discussion forums, and then that spread to Twitter, and that's where I ended up uh, first seeing the discussion. I'm a big fan of the Bond franchise, specifically Timothy Dalton's run, his two films is, uh, in uh, The Living Daylights and License to Kill. I was kind of interested in trying to figure this out and see if I could contribute something. Um, I emailed Vic Flick's team through his website, and I did converse briefly with someone who apparently is related to him. Uh, unfortunately, conversation was a bit terse, didn't really get too much information, so decided to go a different route on that end. Um, I then began uh, talking with the original uploader of the piece on SoundCloud, and he goes by Mikey Mike in the Eric Clapton fan community. I want to make it very clear, he has been very gracious, said please share this information with everybody, um, and I'm, I'm very thankful that he has allowed me uh, to do that here today. Uh, Mikey Mike is a huge fan of Eric Clapton, has seen him perform um, about 650 times, and has a very large collection of rare recordings and film. He was gracious enough to share some additional information about this recording. Um, he was given a cassette copy by someone who worked uh, at the now-closed Townhouse Recording Studios, and he held on to the recording for about 20 years as part of his personal collection. Uh, he also had a reel-to-reel -reel master copy, uh, which he gave to a friend of his in Japan. But sadly, that friend has passed away, and in the process, that copy appears to have passed into the hands of some bootleggers who are preparing an Eric Clapton bootleg collection for sale. Due to its eventual release, as well as to tamp down on some of the illegal sales, uh, Mikey Mike decided to release uh, his copy to, to the public. He was also gracious enough to share with me a high-res rip of the tape, uh, which I've listened to pretty extensively on my uh, own uh, home hi-fi system. It's very Michael Kamen-esque. Um, it fits with the rest of the License to Kill soundtrack uncannily well. Uh, little motifs that can be heard in the rest of the soundtrack are audible, but they're not directly copy and pasted. To me, it would be incredibly impressive if this was a fake. Um, further confirmation, at least in my mind, of this being possibly the real thing is that within about 24 hours of this track finally circulating in the Bond fan community, uh, copyright strikes started being handed down. Um, and those strikes read as being filed by the late Michael Kamen's rights holders. Someone on the MI6 community forums uh, has indicated that those are specifically listing uh, some of Michael Kamen's um, uh, relatives uh, as, as the uh, filers of those manual copyright strikes. Uh, to me, this is really good confirmation, but there's 
a bit more now that's that's come out. People were finally able to get in contact with Vic Flick through Facebook. And in his mind, this doesn't sound like the track he remembers recording. So now we have some different competing um, opinions on this. Now, it has been, you know, 1989 to 2022 has been a while um, since he would have sat in on those sessions and contributed. But obviously, also, he was there. So that means he obviously has a, a, a big say in, in the authenticity of this. So you're probably wondering at what point am I going to play this for you so you can get a feel for this and, and figure out for you on your own. But due to the aforementioned copyright issues, I really can't do that here on YouTube. But what I can do is I can link to an Internet Archive link in the video description uh, where that has been archived for you to listen to. I encourage you to take a listen uh, to this track for yourself. Is this the rare License to Kill uh, Eric Clapton Lost theme? I'm prepared to lean towards the idea that it is, but obviously there is still that air of uncertainty around it. So I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on this, um, and as we kind of have this discussion on whether this is the real, uh, the real thing or not, and if it is real, um, I think a big hole, a big missing hole in the Bond uh, fandom uh, has possibly been filled. So once again, thank you very much to Mikey Mike for providing um, the track and the photo of the tape for publication. And um, thank you for watching, and uh, have a good day, and uh, so long for now.